Well, moving on now, the president of the Benin Solidarity Movement, Erosa Ubo, has condemned the recent attack on the All Progressives Congress APC governorship candidate, Monday Okwolo, and the reinstated deputy governor of the state, Philip Shaibo. Obo stated that the attack was allegedly carried out by supporters of the People's Democratic Party ahead of the September 21 governorship election in the state. While speaking to our correspondent at Bumejero Friday in Benin, the state capital, Obo said the state government had disregarded the rule of law by sending alleged PDP loyal thugs to attack the convoy of the deputy governor and the APC candidate. He called on youths to refrain from being used by politicians to incite violence and civil unrest, which led to the death of one inspector, Ono Ako, who was attached to the APC governorship candidate. Now, Ubo described the attack as an unfortunate situation that could have been avoided, stating that it is unhealthy for democracy and good governance. I blame the governor of the state, Godino Paseki, for sending his uniform talks in the name of Powa, Mabina Powa, they call them, I don't know, and uh, he, he, uh, those security network. What were they doing at the airport? Why would they go there to resist, to block those other, uh, the supporters of the tribal for gaining entrance into the state through the Benin airport? Can you stop a man to come back to his home? Come make the use you for talk green, not green. Both our youth, moon and wise, oh. All these our politicians, their children not there for Nigeria, oh. Their children there for Bodo Ibo. If Katakata don't happen, now we go be the victim. Now we go suffer. If through this talk green, this Nyamanyama is where they want use us do. And they want use the children and the youth, they do. Bad, bad people see come at us, our leaders. Now still the same thing, the same thing when they face so then I will see the face. Stand up though, they should be wise. These so-called politicians send their children abroad. You will see, uh, okay, nobody will see any politician's son on the street or daughter on the street. You understand? So they should, we should be wise. We should use our head, we should stand up to. You know that you want to, you know, that is, if my governor or president, you know, they should project their family forward. Not by just sending the other ones, and the other one will suffer, the, the, the vulnerables will not suffer the penalty at the end. Their children will not gain it. It's not a, it's a, it's not a good thing. And the vulnerable that even suffer to, to really uh, play their politics and everything, at the end, they will start lying there. We practice true federalism, or rather, we practice a, a system of government that's recognized all over the world. So it's not something that we should encourage at all. It's something we should always kick against because the youth whom we say are the leaders of tomorrow, by the time we finish, we might have been done using them for this act of toggle and whatever in political um, era. They become no more. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.